How's it going guys? Um, I came home from work today and discovered that we had some eggs that we need to pull off. This is Timber, our uh, red jag carpet python. As you can see she's very curious on what I am going to be doing. She does know, but it's alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take her from her eggs. We're going to get her eggs in an egg box. I'll tell you guys how I incubate my eggs and we'll go from there. She looks kind of feisty right at the moment. Normally carpet pythons are pretty easy going getting off, but she looks like she might be a little bit of a hustle this year. Don't want to hurt the eggs. There you go. There you go. All right, guys, we got those eggs from her now. All right, let's see here. Not a very large clutch. Let's see here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It looks like we got 14 good eggs. I'm going to go ahead and candle these here in a little bit to double check, make sure that they're good. Normally when they are perfect like this and in a beautiful little stack, something that's not sticking too far out, I'll go ahead and leave them just the way that they are. As you can see, I'm going to come grab the camera so you guys can get a closer look. So we got some beautiful eggs there. And as you can see, there's kind of, there's water in the bottom. I have found that I like to put vermiculite in there, but I also like to have a good amount of standing water in there. And I like to put duct tape around the edge here to help give me a nice seal. And then what I will do is put the lids, I don't even know where I have those lids right now. Uh, here we go. Put them right on top and it squishes in. What I'll have to do here is make sure that these eggs aren't too tall because you don't want them touching the top, but as you can see they are. So what I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pull a couple of them apart. And you want to be careful when you're pulling them apart like this. You want to make sure that you're very delicate with it because you can easily rip the eggs. And these eggs, I think were laid probably yesterday because they are stuck together good. So let's see, maybe I can get this one. very carefully give it just a little tension and let them start to come apart on their own almost just lightly put the pressure on there and get this one unstuck on it you don't want to go fast because then you'll tear the egg and you'll completely ruin it so you want to go very very slowly Got that attached there. Let's we'll sit a little flatter. And I'm just very gently massaging the egg with the pressure towards where I want it to go. And they'll slowly give. You just got to be very, very patient with it. There we go. Let's see. All right. As you can see, I just pulled this egg off right here. This one was right underneath which was making them all sit up a little higher 
So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just set that one right there. And now we have the right clearance that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and adjust these just a little bit. Those go just like that. Now, they are perfect and ready to go in the incubator. I go very simple. I have two old mini fridges with circulation fan, heat tape connected there. Uh, to a thermostat that controls all of my temperature for the snakes. Boom. Just like that. Eggs are in the incubator. And in 60 days we'll have snakes. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.